What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure and welcome to the next video. In today's video, Cindy and I are going to take you through uh, some of our favorite kitchen accessories. As you can see, all laid out on our counter. Uh, we have a bunch of accessories here that we really like to use when we go out RVing and we figured we'd share that with you guys, especially if you're new to RVing, uh, even if you're a seasoned veteran, you know, there's always something new that you can learn. And so today we'll be walking you through uh, those accessories. Okay, so what's the first thing? First thing would be our electric kettle. Um, this is actually pretty, pretty cool. It holds three cups of water and it boils water within five minutes using electric. So if you're boondocking, you would want to use the stove top one, which we have as well. Um, but it, uh, five minutes is pretty quick when you're trying to make dinner or hot tea or hot coffee um, first thing in the morning. Yeah, so it's pretty easy. You just stick it on the little burner pad and hit the switch hit the switch <laughs> and you have boiling water in a couple of minutes yep cool all right what's the next thing you like the next two things are um it's actually two one of them is a thermometer for the oven because rv ovens can fluctuate in different heat elements and of course the age and brands they all everything's different so a good thermometer to setting it inside will let you know um, what temperature your oven gets to before you put your food in or help you maintain the, the right heat level. So can you actually put that in the oven? This goes in the oven. It can hang from one of your little rods or you can just set it on top of like a baking sheet if you're baking like say cookies or brownies or whatever. Um, it just helps set in there. That's pretty cool. Um, second is the thermometer to, to actually check to see when your food is at its right temperature. Now this one's pretty cool because it magnetized so you can put it on the refrigerator, microwave, you know, anything that's metal um, and it gives you a range of temperatures on the back um, and again it's just one off of Amazon. It, there's tons of options out there. And there's another use for it so when it's rainy and you're bored you just put your hand on it and you see how hot you can get the temperature to read. My son and I have had competitions already. And, and then, of course, wash it afterwards so that <laughs> it's nice and clean for the next use. <laughs> All right, what do we got next? Next, um, I love my cutting boards and knives because I like to actually do a lot of the prepping of the food. Um, so, you know, peeling or chopping um, vegetables and fruit. Um, you always want a good knife and cutting board. I actually have like five different cutting boards because I use them for different things and I don't like to cross contaminate food and vegetables. Um, same with my knives, I have multiples. Um, but these are just two of the ones we keep in the camper. All right. And so that knife is... This is a Pamper Chef. Pamper Chef. Um, and it's one of the smaller ones. I have the steak knife or the meat knife and the produce knife as well. This one's more like a utility. It can be used for anything. So I like it in the camper because I can use it for whatever I'm cooking. It just might take a little longer because it's not as big and heavy. Awesome. Okay, so next we have our serving trays. I know it's not that big of a deal, but these ones are actually metal. Um, and I put a piece of aluminum foil down on them and then put any of our food, like our cheeseburgers and stuff on them. And then you put a piece of aluminum foil back over it and it helps it keep it warm while you're setting up the picnic table and you know waiting for everybody to have their seats and say prayers and um, anything like that, fix their drinks. Um, it just helps keep it warm because of it being metal. And... It's an RV. It's our happy camper. <laughs> it's an RV. I actually have two of these. Sometimes I'll put the other one up upside down. Like if we're doing pancakes and bacon, I'll put it upside down um, on it instead of doing the second layer of aluminum. Just does, it makes it easier. Um, but I love those. <laughs> all right, so you got a bunch of stuff over here. What is all this? Okay, so everybody likes their tools. I'm a baker, so I always have to have a whisk and a measuring cup. This measuring cup is also from Pamper Chef, um, and it's probably... 13 years old so it's very worn but it measures liquid from one side and then you push it and it measures the solid on the other side and it has the corresponding measurements going on the up and down the sides of it um, and then you can push it and it pushes all your solids out um, which is pretty cool but I also have a ton of other measuring cups and measuring spoons and 
everything in, in my one big bowl and that just stays up in the cabinet but I wanted to show y'all what I use most often um, and then of course I have a spatula and a little um, baster brush for when we do like barbecue chicken or rubs on the we did a pot roast and I used it to do the rubs on it um, and then for pancakes we like the big pancake spatula so that's easier to flip and I use these for quesadillas as well mm -hmm. and then of course we have the regular metal style spatulas and like I said we have a ton of other stuff as well but those are just the main ones that we like to use um, next is stoneware don't know if y'all have ever heard of it this one is nice and seasoned because it's again 13 years old um, and it's held up a lot with the kids um, it's probably Nick's favorite for pizza um, he cooks pizza at least once a week <laughs> using the stoneware. Um, in an RV oven, if you don't already know, it's very good to have a stoneware or some type of stone in the bottom of your oven above the heating element to help regulate the heat in the oven. Um, because we cook on stoneware, we don't actually have to have another one in there already, but like if we were cooking on a ba regular aluminum baking sheet, you would want to have something in that oven to help distribute the heat. So you put this like right over top of the element and then on the next rack you put your pan? Yeah, you put your pan on the regular So this helps rack. the heat kind of distribute. go around. Yep, oh. it helps to distribute. A lot of people just use the like flooring towels that aren't coated with anything, just the plain ceramic um, flooring towels. Um, you can get a couple different sizes and make them all fit in your oven, um, but this little one actually fits perfectly in our oven to, to cook on. So we use that to do... Um, Yes, and so we just we just accumulated this one, um, which is a pie plate. Um, but I wanted to show you what it looks like when it's not seasoned. Um, so this one hasn't been used yet, and this one's been used for years. <laughs> so it's like a cast iron when you when you use it, it gets darker and darker. Um, so this one we're hoping to use this week. And we're gonna do a chicken pot pie. Yeah, we're gonna make a homemade for our chicken first pot one. pie. And hopefully it will get nice and seasoned after that. Yummy. All right, um, next are our sealed containers. I hate ants and any type of bug. Um, so everything that is going to be loose has to be in some type of container for, for me. Um, so these are Nick's favorite. So um, they could just have a little pop top and a um, seal that goes all the way around it to help keep the bugs out. And then- um, We have a bigger one for cereal, right? These come in a ton of different sizes. You can use them for, I mean, they come as, as big as pastas, you know, tall and skinny or short and fat for flour and sugar and all your other good things. Um, and they're really easy to clean and come apart uh, when you need it to. Um, and then of course for cereal, we like the cereal containers that have the quarter spout so that the kids don't make a mess all over the counter with them and these are also airtight so I don't have to worry about bugs getting inside of it. Um, and then next I already told you guys about the bowl full of all my good baking stuff. Um, I use this mixing bowl for baking as well as um, using it for like soaking my chicken for marinating it so it can set in the refrigerator for a couple hours before we actually cook it. I, I use it for a lot of different things because it's so big um, but it, it fits really nicely up in the cabinet. So. But storage is always important in an RV. Yep, so, so everything goes inside everything of this one. goes in this one. And like this one sets in there too and even my whisk can fit down in here if I have it correct and so all my baking stuff can go together. Um, so when I know I'm going to bake brownies or cookies or whatever I just grab the whole bowl down um, to use. Makes sense. Save space. Yes. My favorite of any any day, I, I use cast iron daily in our home as well as when we're camping and I have five different sizes of the round cast irons as well as the big griddle to go over the fire pit. And then Harold wants a blackstone, which also, if, everybody, if anybody knows about blackstone, the top of a blackstone is made out of cast iron as well. Um, if, if this video gets 50 likes, <laughs> she said that she will buy me a Blackstone. Just saying. Come on, you guys can help me out. Yes. You can help me with my story. He, <laughs> he really wants a Blackstone. Eventually <laughs> it will happen, but I told him that the current one has to die. The current girl has to die before <laughs> I spend the money on a Blackstone. Because I already use cast iron. I already have everything cast iron. I don't have to have the Blackstone. Um, but that, that can be arranged. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. It, it can die. It'll, <laughs> it'll die. He's just going to make it die. 
right. All right. So last, um, or just a couple of things on the counter. Um, we always have an ice maker when we go camping. Um, it makes a good amount of ice. Um, it's actually enough for the kids to, to have like a glass of ice with lunch and dinner. Um, and not have to worry about, you know, going and buying a bag of ice. So that, that's really nice. Um, and then of course we have our toaster, um, that Michaela likes to use for toast every morning. Um, she eats and, toast with everything. And waffles. And waffles. We and, love waffles. And bagels and whatever. Yep. Um, they are definitely, they're my carb loving kids. Um, so sweets and sugar is their best friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then we also have hot pads. I don't know if you guys... So these hot pads, you can put your hand in, um, but it's also can be used as a hot pad to set on the tabletop so that your oven dishes don't burn a hole in the picnic table. Um, but then we found these ones at Walmart and Hobby Lobby in their little glove mitts, and they're actually pretty, pretty nice on the inside, and you can hold a, a, one of the heavier cast irons for a pretty good amount of time without burning through your hand, um, which is nice because my big one has two handles, and it can get quite hot. I told you guys about the entertainment value of this. This is also fun to uh, make puppets. Make puppets and not just any puppet, but to chase the dogs. They they don't like. <laughs> they, really, <laughs> they really don't like it. And evidently his wife doesn't like it either. Um, but yeah, so that's just a few things that we use. If you have um, any things that y'all like that you didn't see, you know, leave them in the comments. Let us know if you, there's anything that y'all have questions about. You know, of course, we'll, we'll do everything we can to answer them. Um, anything you want to add? What else, What do you like? What's your favorite? I like it all. Um, I especially want the, um, the new grill. <laughs> yes. That's, that's really, that, my, my job is cooking outside when I do cook. He does most of the grilling. It's, it's, it's usually um, outside. Unless it's over the fire, I do most of the over the fire. Um, so I like to, to do the open flame fires. Baking, all that. That's all me. Yep. But I'm going to... Uh, he does the grilling. I just want the Blackstone to be able to do some burgers uh, and some breakfast and stuff like that. Oh, you know what we forgot? What? The Instapot. The Instapot. We didn't bring it out. We, we love our Instapot as well. We actually use it quite often for um, pot roasts and chicken pot pies. Uh, not chicken pot pies, I'm sorry. Um, chicken tacos. Chicken tacos, actually, it, it still smells, smells like chicken smells tacos. Like chicken we tacos. have washed it, but it still smells like I chicken tacos. I say for some reason I can't get the chicken taco smell out of it. I think it's because we make them so much that it just... I think it's the only thing we make in this. Uh-uh. We, we've made... Um, oh, chili. We made chili and pulled pork um, barbecue in it when we were camping. And Jason. Gosh, I can't believe we almost forgot this because this is like our favorite. I know we use that every single time we go out. Yes, it is nice to be able to just come to the camper, put everything in there, and in 15 minutes have a nice dinner. Yep, and usually I actually cook it outside. Um, I usually put we pull the picnic table up close to the camper and just plug it in. Plug it right into the slide that's right behind the camera because I'm pointing to it and you guys obviously can't see it. Um, we um we went camping in Georgia and we were just staying overnight but we pulled in right before five o'clock and I set it up put everything in it and we actually took the dogs for a walk um, and let it cook and then we came back from walking the dogs and washed our hands and set up the table and had dinner and everything was done I didn't have to worry about it yep so that's our that's, that's our, our list too. this is our list um, let it again let us know what you guys like what uh, what meals? What is your favorite thing to cook when you're when you're camping? That's always a that's always a great question. Ours is the chicken tacos in this Instapot. I say that's why we use it every time we go camping because we are going to have chicken tacos every time this camper goes out of our driveway. So that's right. it's it's one of our go-tos. All right. Well, that's it. That does it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really liked the video, make sure you subscribe. Check out the rest of the content that One Strange Adventure has to offer. Ring that bell so you know the next time we release a video. Yeah. And until the next strange adventure, keep making your own. Bye!